at the age of three, I was adopted. <clears throat> CPS took me away from my family, my biological family. Uh, they were addicted to using drugs. They were used to living the life that they wanted. And maybe they weren't ready to have kids. Um, so CPS took me away from my biological parents at the age of three. Uh, my parents uh, had drugs all over the place, uh, drug, paraphernalia, drug paraphernalia. Uh, they had needles, everything around that kids are not supposed to see. Now keep in mind, I didn't know any of these things until I got a little bit older. And I remember, as I said in uh, another video, that at the age of three, I remember, if I can really remember, I remember the bailiff putting me on the counter where the judge was and asked me if I wanted to be adopted by this family. And I said, yes. And I remember that, and this is where I met Eva Johnson, who is my heart, my love, my life, my everything, who was taken away from me. Um, I miss her, I love her. Um, but if it wasn't for that woman, I don't think that I would have a clear direction or continue uh, or, or a hope to go on. And that woman, though she didn't have a lot, didn't have a college degree, didn't have a lot, she took a broken child and she made me. And I'm here standing today telling you my story. Here I am telling you that no matter what you go through, no matter how bad life breaks you down, that you got it, you can do it. And this woman opened her arms. She saw something in me to adopt me for me to be her son and claimed me as her son. Not a lot of people do that. Some people won't even claim their own child or be there for their own children. So it shows true strength and true love and true heart and that there is love and kindness in this world that it takes one person to make change. And here I am, you know, and I'm proud to say I'm here and I'm smiling and I'm trying to take my story and all of my uh, experiences and share it with the world. Uh, although she tried to raise me right and give me the best life, uh, you know, she, she was in an abusive uh, relationship, abusive marriage where, you know, uh, you know, my father, adoptive father, beat her, you know, for every little thing. I mean, he was just, maybe he was a broken as a child. Maybe things were going on in his life. It doesn't make it right. Abuse in any sense, mental, physical, emotional, verbal abuse is not right. He took it all on uh, myself and my mother and my brother abused us. I mean, so many that you couldn't imagine. And so when I tell you guys these stories and I tell you these, these motivational messages, it's to share my story, to, to allow that my imperfections, I'm dealing with them by helping others. Sharing my stories and letting you know that I just didn't come and uh, I had a, 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 an amazing life. I learned, you know, and, uh, and here's my experiences. And I just want to share with you guys and let you know that no matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, no matter how broken you are, you are strong. You have the power. Believe in yourself. If you have a best friend that you love, a brother, a cousin, anybody that you're close to, lean deeply, heavily on those people. Look inside your circle for people who can share stories with you, uplift you, and inspire you, not make fun of you, not look at you, look down on you for the things that you've been through. You can't control your past, but you can control your future. So a lot of people are quiet about their lives. This is my story. I want to share with you guys, and I hope that it helps a lot of people. At the end of the day, I, I've been through it, but I stand strong today to be the voice of the kids of the future. I stand for kids. I stand against bullying. I stand against child abuse, uh, spousal abuse in any aspect. I stand for that, and I will continue to stand. I will continue to motivate, inspire, and, and uplift others who need it. I hope you guys have an amazing day. And remember, if nobody loves you, I love you.